we're going to run through equipment. Now at some point in the game, it's after SVS, and I think it's prior, just prior to Banana Planet by a couple weeks or a week or two. And so when it happens, you have this building, the equipment factory that will need to be added to your city layout. And inside of there, you're going to be getting lots of blueprint fragments and blueprints. So these fragments down here, uh, or sorry, scraps are down here. And so you get 10 of each scrap and they can convert it into a weapon. And so right here, when you have more than 10, like right here, we can combine this to make a weapon. So you can see the attributes here. And so we'll start with this. So you're looking at each one. Now you've got the legendary equipment and see it says us up here, assemble and guarantee to get one of these skills. Now each of these skills has different buffs, which you can read through in here and that have different percentages based on the way you level them up. So it's guaranteed to get one of those, not necessarily which one. And then this one's going to be attack hitters, troops, and then you get four additional attributes when you do those. Now these, in contrast, you get three additional attributes and you have the chance to get one skill, but it's not guaranteed. So a lot of this is, part of this is recasting, re-rolling different equipment to get the best uh, upgrades that you can. For recasting, for example, we have this right here, the Mega Energizer. If I were to recast it, I can actually select, now if you look down here, what it takes to recast. It actually costs a decent amount, and you are re-rolling, so you're not guaranteed anything. Now, if you wanted to lock in some of these attributes since I have re-rolling then, so if I want to keep it for pilots, now it requires me to get this recast ore that you get from the airship event. And if I want to do lock two at a time, again from the airship, but this advanced recast ore. So you have to have those additional uh, components if you want to actually lock in before you recast. So that's good to know. So with assembly, you're looking for uh, each fighter can be equipped with four pieces of equipment. I'll show you that here. So for example, my Dave over here, oops, on the right, and got equipment. And you can see what he's equipped with on here and with each skill has the buffs that it comes with what level it's at etc and scroll through here and see and so you've got energizer armor radar and supply kit those are your four types of equipment so depending on the troop that you're going so dave is primarily a pilot fighter if you see here his talent there's the way i have that tree set up right now he's the pilot talent skill so 25 percent increased normal attack for the first 10 seconds of battle after releasing a normal attack, there's a 10% chance to increase attack of pilots by 25% for 4 seconds. And right now, it's at 25% because it's at 3 of 5. That number, as shown in my other videos, is determined by your lowest skill number. So you could be even 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, or 3, 4, 4, 4. But it's going to take the lowest. doesn't matter which one. If any of those are a 3, you can see that number there. It's going to keep that a 3. So for Dave being a talent um, pilot focus fighter, his equipment for me that I have set up is all pilot focus. So look, damage of pilots 9%. It's a big deal. That's one piece of equipment. Speed 22% for pilots. And then you've got these additional buffs down here that are rolled. And same thing on all these. If you see here, they're very focused on pilots. And you can't guarantee these. You may have to re-roll to get better ones of these depending on the dynamic. And I think one of these even gives me... Let's see, it wasn't on that. I think one of these gave me like a 20%. Oh, that's most, yeah, the speed up here. I think that's what it was. And so that's where the equipment goes. And then from here, let's go back to the factory to assemble. So once you get 10 scraps, you can assemble and make the piece of equipment. And then you can upgrade equipment here. And it shows you the little icon of who that's currently assigned to. And so you can upgrade each one. You have different types. You have ones that focus on, uh, let's see, a lot of the, I think the purple ones primarily are ex additional experience from neutral units is a big part of those. This one's uh, pilots and things as well, and that's a purple one or a rare one. And green, a lot of these have to do, this one has to do a troop capacity, and that's about it, plus speed of shooters was the additional added attribute role on that one. And then some of these other ones, a lot of these have to do with the food gathering speeds and additional gatherer buffs. Or we'll come with a lot of those as well. For recasting, we went over that. Disassembling now. So if you have extra scraps that you don't need or don't want, which is plenty, and I'll have to do this here at another time. I'm not going to do that on the video. But you actually can take these and throw them in here and recast them. And so depending on how many you put in here, it shows you over here what percentage you're going to get back. And you're going to end up getting back this nano material. And that's uh, needed, as you can see, for the upgrades and assembly right here. Different nanomaterial. 
that's needed and then on all of these in places in the game where you need extra material it will tell you where you can get it equipment test site the packs you can buy in past trials regular shop there's a lot of places that you can actually get it so it'll show you that in there and then you can also scroll through your by category with assembled equipment that you have and see that way as well so all right, so I'm gonna show you another aspect of how incredibly effective equipment is. So if you notice on Dwight, Dave, I've got my ND Dave, I've got all legendary equipment on him and upgrade to various degrees. Now we're gonna to go to the rankings board, which is the announcement board to rankings. And I'm gonna show you my fighter power. Now this is among six servers right now because we're on Banana Planet. So among six servers, I'm 19th in fighter power with my D Dave. Now it takes into account his stars, his levels, his skills, all those things. And his skills isn't very high for mine. I'll show you here. Still working on that to get medals this time around. So hopefully I can get these up to 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. And, but why that, why he's 19th? Let me show you what happens when I actually take off his equipment. So we're going to remove... It's not in the city, of course. Let's uh, bring him back to the city. I have him here as a cannon, that's why, from the previous video. <laughs> so we'll bring him back. Him and Derek are in a troop march there and into the cannon. So for that video, look at my other videos, and I will try to remember to link it below. So does this return you to the city? That works too. I usually hit the character and then hit re recall. That dragon back, I believe, works as well. So we're going to go to uh, back to fighters now. And Dave, and equipment, and we are going to remove, 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 remove. Now, what you saw was me in 19th place, remember? What we are now, 151st place. So that's the difference equipment can make. And this isn't even the best equipment, it's just pretty good equipment. So that's a uh, decent basic overview of equipment. If you have any additional questions, comments, then please leave them below and uh, I will get to them soon.